So I'm going to show folks a quick walkthrough of this Seismic web application that just came out. Danny Brown did a quick post about it today, and I'll link to the, his post in it. Um, basically, it gives a really high level about um, single columns, which is like your traditional Twitter.com type of approach, multiple columns, and then you can actually create groups on search keywords. We're going to go to http colon forward slash double forward slash seismic.com forward slash app forward slash. Okay, once you get here, you'll have a big button, connect to Twitter. Okay, it'll lead you to Twitter. You put in your username and password, and then you're logged in. Okay, so now uh, let me show you a couple things here. The single column view is this. Okay, that's all you're going to see basically, and it's just showing you the entire timeline. You can see mentions or replies to. You can also see what you've sent here, and this is the um, kind of you know side column right here. Uh, direct messages. This is basically functioning kind of like Twitter.com. The real magic of Seismic with uh, the desktop and the web application is that you have this multiple column approach. Okay, and within each uh, tweet here for the user, I'll just show you a couple different features. One is right here. You have the reply. Okay, click on this, you can retweet, you can send this person a direct message, or you can report spam. Okay, when you do any of these, except for report spam, um, actually report spam might do that, but um, if you go like this, click on retweet, it's going to open up a new line right below it, and all you have to do is um, post the update. Okay, and then you're done. Now, this is the latest in the timeline, so I just showed up at the top. We're going to X out of this, I'm not interested in that. To add a column is really easy. All you have to do is click on whatever you want to see. Timeline, it's going to add on a column. Okay. Uh, the other piece is that you can create columns based on a keyword. Okay. So I'm going to click NPTECH hashtag. It's going to add another column. Okay. Now this is looking very familiar for the folks that look like that use Seismic, the client server application. Basically, it kind of looks like it. The other piece within the kind of user um, post, like the individual tweets that you see here, is so you have this whole reply thing. If you go mouse over the icon, a couple options show up. Okay, click on this. You're going to see a high-level profile on the person. Okay, bio uh, updates. You're going to see what their updates are on Twitter. Okay. And within here, you can actually do the same thing, which is kind of neat. You can reply to that. Uh, the other thing that you'll see here, if you mouse over the icon, is message. Now, when you click on this, it's going to open up a totally new column. Okay, columns right here, and basically you can do, type in whatever you want. Okay, I'm not going to do anything. Click on send. Boom, you're all set. All right. Uh, the last piece that I'll show you here is unfollow. You can either follow or unfollow people. Within this section, again, there are two more features. One is favorite. You can just favor these posts, okay? And it's not going to favor the person. It's just going to favor the tweet, the specific tweet. Now, to create a column based on keyword, we can go like this, okay? We'll go tech soup, enter, okay? That's it. Anything that mentions that particular hashtag, when you save it, it's going to pop over right here. Okay, you can't really add individual users to groups like you can in the client server application, but you can save searches, a search really on anything. Okay, I think that is pretty much it. So this this is really great. You could also post up here. Okay, um, if you want to add a link, it will insert the link. Um, click on insert, boink. It's going to automatically shorten it with the Bitly service. Okay, so you could post anything you want up here. Um, and then you can reply to, send direct messages to folks down here, and then organize your columns, however you want to do them. You can X out of the columns. Once you X out of them, you're not losing them because these are keyword searches. They're simply showing up over here. You click on these, boink, column pops over again. Okay? So that's pretty much it. That's the web-based uh, Seismic application, which I think is awesome. And I hope this is helpful. Thank you.